we all need far more goldenrod in our landscapes because it's an incredible boon to insects and bugs and all kinds of pollinators. Now, some species of goldenrod are aggressive and should not be placed in smaller garden beds like Solidigo canadensis. Aggressiveness isn't just about the natural tendencies of the species, though, but of garden bed design. So an aggressive goldenrod in clay soil with lots of plant competition and in non-preferential soil moisture may be more behaved. For example, stiff goldenrod in a prairie is about two feet tall, but put it in a relatively pampered home garden with less competition, it grows three to four feet tall and may flop over. But if you up the competition, uh, species like stiff goldenrod simply spread slowly as a clumping community. Critical to this is using other aggressive species around it that also reproduces by runners and together they keep each other more in check. So they sort of bump heads, you know, and, and, and keep each other controlled. Now, goldenrod does not cause hay fever. That's a big myth we see, we hear a lot about. Um, it's just not true. Hay fever is caused by our... Uh, our is caused by our native uh, ragweed species. We have a couple. Goldenrod pollen is too heavy and too sticky. It's not airborne like the ragweed, which blooms around the same time as many goldenrod species. So what are some behaved goldenrod that will work for small urban landscapes? Solidaeogle flexicollis, which does great in dry shade. Their stiff goldenrod, Oligonua and rigidum. Um, warm, dry, sunny conditions. And Solidago odora also likes it dry and sunny. Uh, three more species that are really pretty well behaved would be Solidago speciosa, especially if it's in a thick uh, community. Uh, Oligonoa and Riddellia, Riddles, uh, likes it uh, sort of grass-like and likes it moist. And then Solidago cassia is for shade gardens. It's wonderful. And don't forget that our goldenrods look fantastic in the winter. Their seed heads are, are just beautiful. And look closely at goldenrod blooms because you'll be surprised at what you see, like crab spiders who can change their color between yellow and white. Um, to hide and catch prey.